Oop. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Hi. <laughs> happy Thursday. Yes. Happy Thursday, September 24th. Uh, thank you, everyone, for stopping on by. I do really appreciate it. Today's project is a Halloween recipe card. Now, I've already done a recipe card before, and it was the same kind of idea. It was a cocktail, and I did it with, I believe, oh my goodness, I can't believe, I can't remember. It was um, like a Malibu sunrise I, I did with the fancy glass and the shading and everything, but I wanted to do something more traditional, something that, you know, you can just print and cut put it into your recipe box and just start writing. Now I didn't do the back, but I did do the front. I wanted to leave it blank because it's a lot easier to write. But if you really need to have um, like lines on the back, I'm sure that we can figure this out on Cricut, but we're not doing it today, but, 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 but we are doing the front. Now, most of you have um, like containers that you put your recipes in. For me, I have this this one right here that is a um, four and a half. Is it a four and a half? It's a four by seven. So I wanted to make it a little bit bigger, and I think I did it. Yeah, this is a four. So this one's a three, three by seven. That's correct. And you know, we we have containers in our in our kitchen. And sometimes we get really nice uh, cookbooks. We even have the ones that have sleeves for our cookbooks. And this one is what it fits into. So we're going to be doing a 4x7 using nothing more than our Cricut and basic shapes. So let's get started. Let's see. What? Right there. Is the, the sound too high? Is the, the music too high? Because... It's a little high on my end, just a tiny bit. It always is. Like when I first start, it's fine. But when I start to talk, it's like, hmm, it's a little, it's a little high. Mm. Oh, I'm loving that. Good morning. That sounds all good. Good, good, good. Thank you, Devlin. Now, forgive me if um, my videos sound a little bit out of breath i do have asthma and the weather is changing and unfortunately it makes it a little harder for me to breathe so if you hear a lot of breathing in my videos lately it's because because i suck at breathing it's hard <laughs> okay we're gonna start with this uh cup right here now if you've seen my mugs and glasses it's the same kind of concept all we're going to be doing is grabbing myself a circle and we're just adding details to our glass. Um, for the uh, mugs and glasses tutorial, it was just pretty basic. So we're just adding a little flair to our cups and glasses. So we're going to get ourselves a circle, a square, and that's about it. Just a circle and a square. So for the first one, we're just going to elongate, make this a little bit bigger, and this a little thinner. We're taking them off the lock. You can make these as thin or as thick as you want. I'm going to grab myself another circle, take it off the lock, and make it into an oval. This is going to be the base of our cup. So we're going to highlight everything and make sure everything's in the center. Okay, this is my the bane of my existence. Horizontally, vertically. Uh, horizontally yes I picked the right one all right now I'm gonna grab another square and all I'm gonna do is cut the top of this first before I do anything else I want my my glass to be about right there now you can make your glass higher or lower it really is all up to you I'm gonna grab this uh, shape and this shape and slice all right nice nice now that we have everything do we need to do anything else one last thing we grab the very top one before we weld everything and now we can let's weld perfect great now if you find that the bottom is too wide or you find it not satisfactory for you you can always change it 
Now I duplicated this just to make it slightly smaller. Now my glass is green, so let's change it to a nice green color. Bring this to the front. There we go. Kind of looks reminds me of a watermelon. Mmm. I'm loving that tea. Now for this one I had purple, so let's just change. Move this down just a bit. Oh my goodness, my did you see that? It just seems to go up and down like this all by itself. All right, there is my, my, my concoction and I'm going to change it purple. And of course we need to make this a bubbling brew. So we're just going to put some circles in here. You can put as many or as few circles as you want. And I think for this one, I'm going to add a few more bubbles inside the glass. Let's go weld. Good. Let's change this color. Let's just put a cup, just a few. Now, since we're printing this out, it doesn't matter how much detail you actually add because it's all going to be printed. Let me put one. You know what? I'm going to put one right here. I'm going to weld this. Actually, let me move these out because as soon as I weld it, it's going to bring it to the front. Let's weld. Okay, good. Um, hmm. It's not as high as I wanted it to be. Let's do it again. Weld. Good. So I'm going to just, I knew it. Let's bring this to the front. Really? That's strange. All right, let's do that again. Front. And I'm just going to slightly change the color to a lighter purple. Just like that. And I feel like it needs a, a couple more, a couple more bubbles. There we go. Now, we're not done with this yet. We need to decorate it. And I, I wanted to go with a, um, like a candy corn. So if you really wanted to, you can make the top portion more candy cornish. But I, I wanted to keep it in a, a nice little spooky feel. I don't know. I know it, it's weird <laughs> to say to keep it into a spook, spooky feel because it's not really spooky. I'm not entirely sure how I'm trying to say this. I'm trying to keep it very Halloween themed. There we go. That's what I wanted to say. You know, I want my bottoms to actually show just a little bit. So I'm going to make them a little smaller. There we go. And let's make sure that all of these are lined up properly. And it's horizontally. Yes. So the bottom here is dark orange. Then we're going to go with a nice light orange. And then we're going to go with some white. So we have a candy corn teeny right there. So technically I can make this like a dark orange and these a lighter color. Yeah, look at that. And then this would be white. And then it just repeats itself like that. So, and you can change the colors to whatever you want. If you, this is your creation, whatever colors flow for you, that's what you could use. Okay, so we got ourselves our, our little, uh, uh, it, I want to say acorn. It's not acorn. It's um, candy corn teeny. Your little candy corn drink. And then we have our midnight teeny right here. Let's start with a triangle. A square. And a circle. Okay. This little guy right here needs to be flipped. He's facing the wrong direction. Alrighty. And of course we need 
Sunflower, thank you for showing up. Good morning. Happy Thursday to you. Hmm. If you're like me right now, you're enjoying yourself a nice hot beverage on this cold day. It's getting a lot colder these days. And forgive me if my breathing is not doing so well. <laughs> like, I was reviewing my videos and I'm, I literally sound like I'm trying to suck in air as I'm underwater. I'm like, <gasps> <clears throat> but it could be just me. I could be just paranoid. That sounds more like me. <laughs> it really does. All right. We don't have to do anything else to this other than just duplicate our triangle. Select everything. Oh, select everything and weld. Perfect. And we just need to make this a little tiny so it could fit to the front. There we go. We're just doing Halloween cocktails, you know, the huge. All right, I'm going to turn this black. I'm not entirely sure why it chooses uh, this gray color each time I, I uh, grab a shape, but you know, that's Cricut. Right, I'm going to make this purple. I'm going to move it over just a little. It feels like it's out of center. There we go. And grab myself some purple. And I'm going to do the same thing as I did before. I'm going to grab a circle and start making some bubbles. Because you know me, I love me some bubbles. I tend to do my bubbles a lot. And I'm going to keep this one over here. And I'm just going to weld to my little heart's content. Weld. There we go. And I'm just going to add a couple more into my drink if I can bring it to the front. All right. I got one. Going smaller, two. Going smaller, three. Just like that. Now I can leave them black, but I want to make them stand out just a little bit. One, two, three. There we go. Perfect. Now I'm going to put my little moon and star on here to make it my little moon teeny, my midnight teeny. So I got my little circle, get my little crescent right about there and slice. This little moon teeny, midnight teeny. And of course the star is already done, so I don't have to do anything with it other than just slap it right on there. Make sure it's touching and weld. There we go. Let's just make this a little more crescent. There we go. Now I want to make sure that it really pops. So I'm going to make it white, duplicate it and just weld everything back and just put that right on top. Come on now. All right, there we go. So we got our, uh, eight, I keep saying acorn <laughs> candy corn, our candy corn drink right here. We have our little witch's brew martini or midnight teeny. And now we're going to have to get some concoctions. Now I did both of them the same color and that's fine. I mean, you can change it up and put whatever colors you want. So let's start with this, um, uh, this, um, what do you call this? Glass bottle. There we go. Bottle. <laughs> let's start with this bottle. Now I'm going to do a couple more bottles since, you know, I've gotten a little bit more advanced on creating stuff and things. I mean, if you've seen my uh, chemistry set, I've done a couple of, a couple of bottles, bottles. I can't seem to, to communicate properly today. Have you guys noticed that? Is it just me? <laughs> All right. This seems a little big, no matter what I do. Okay. Let me just put it down here. Grab myself a square and elongated it. Grab myself a circle. And I'm just going to make this a little big like that. And if, 
again I'm just gonna grab myself a square take it off the lock and bring it to the top there we go and let's bring it about right there let's make sure everything is right in the center perfect and weld good now to make the cork you you've seen it a million times I'm gonna get my pentagon 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 tool grab myself a square and then just slice it off take this off take this off take this off and then change the color to let's say brown right there and make it nice and tiny there we go we got ourselves a bottle I mean I've seen bottles like this before they have like a fat neck and then a really skinny body let's see let's make this a nice white color I have gray on this one but I want this one to be a little bit more you know poppy does that make sense poppy <laughs> it pops out more all right I'm gonna grab myself a square take it off the lock and I'm just gonna put some liquid and just like before we're gonna grab ourselves some circles and make some bubbling brews in here one two three four okay excuse me I'm gonna weld all this and then just change it to a different color since I have an orange one that's what I'm gonna do you know and just to be you know how I normally am I'm gonna make this a candy cane not a candy cane a candy corn looking one so it would kind of justify the way it kind of looks all right so for the first one I'm going to slice where are you slice that's weird there we go slice there we go all right I'm gonna take this and this and then go down just a little more I think that's a little too low there we go slice all right since we already got the first one on, on top all we need to do is just change this and the bottom one so the next one is let's see it's white let's bring this one down here bring this one down here and let's just do a darker one there we go and now I see why I changed the bottle because I wanted to make sure it stand stood out let's make this gray there we go so we have ourselves a little candy corn drink and now we're going to do this one right here which is the more traditional and all it is it's the same concept you just grab yourself a square okay do it again and lock, we're just going to make this a little smaller and we're going to just do it again and we're going to put it on its side here oh 90 degree angle right here 90 take it off the lock just do a little thinner now what I'm going to do is just make sure everything is in the middle what am I doing here there we go weld perfect and of course we're just going to steal the the shape from over here and change it gray no not not purple gray now we don't really have to do much all we got to do is just grab the back end one duplicate it and flip it and that's it it's the same thing it's just flipped 
we just have to change the colors to a nice purple color. Where are you? Where are you? Right here. Ooh, I missed one. Now, to make sure that it looks more like a drink inside, I'm just going to change the color. Give it a couple more. Just make it a little bigger and a little bigger. And all I'm going to do is just change it to a lighter, lighter purple. There we go. Ta-da! We have our drinks! Pretty cool, huh? Now, let's just do a few more bottles. Now, <clears throat> this one's a more traditional one. The one that you see, uh, like almost like a witch's kind of bottle. But it also kind of reminds me of a beaker, to be honest. Okay, we got a little one right here. Let's see. Let's make it a little thicker right here. A little more. Now let's make sure that all of these are centered properly. <laughs> Perfect. And let's bring this one up just a little bit. Get this off the lock. And I should have waited until I got all my shapes in. There we go. Weld. Well, actually, before I do, let me grab the circle. Weld. Good. Just like before, we're just slicing stuff and things. And slice. Where are you? There we go. Slice. Give myself a little cork. Almost looks like a genie in a bottle kind of. Not the Aladdin version. More like a beach theme kind of. I don't know. Has a all this has its charms. And let's make this just a tad smaller, just like that. And let's turn this one green. I mean we have a lot of colors going on here. So we have a lot of potions. Okay. Let me just do a little more here. There we go. Make it a little smaller. And I'm going to need some more. All right. This, 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 and this. Turn this green and bring this guy to the front. And all I'm going to do is just add a couple more bubbles. That's it. Okay. There we go. And all I'm going to do is just change the color to a lighter green. So any of these bottles that you want to use is perfectly fine. Mm. Now, to make it look like a recipe card, which is like this. All right. All we're going to do is grab ourselves a square. Take it off the lock and we're going to go over here where it says size and put four inches by seven inches. Now we've already done the test. Oh, I did that backwards. Make that seven by four. We've already tested it out. The furthest you can go is nine by six and a half, I think. When you want to do a print and cut. So this is going to be the size of our recipe card. You could use any or all of these. I think I'm going to do two different types. I've already done one. Let's do two. Let's see how many we can actually create here. 
All right. So let's just grab one of these. I'm going to put this down here. And one down here. We're going to need them. First things first, let's grab our pattern. So we're going to go to print. We're going to go to pattern. And the first one I used was this. Now these are my own personal patterns that I have made and created. You can find them, your, um, you can actually get them for free in a lot of locations, but if you want specifically the ones that I'm using, you can go to store unique designs by Monica and they're, I, be I believe they're 99 cents right now. All right, so I have this one that looks perfect. And I, for this one, I'm going to turn it into a more Halloween-y pattern. Well, both of them are pretty Halloween-y. And I'm going to use this one right here. All right, I'm going to change these to white. I want to make sure we can see our writing and lettering. I'm going to just put them right here and then scrunch them in. I want to make sure that this is right in the center. All right. I'm not liking the pattern, so let's make this a little bit bigger. So we go to the pattern area, go to edit, and we can always make it bigger. Ooh, that's too big. Maybe smaller would work. Yeah, smaller is what I'm looking for. Okay. There we go. And let's do the same thing. We don't really need this one. We just need this one right over here. Okay. We're going to do the same thing. Put this right in the center. Perfect. Now, I kind of want to use the, uh, what you call it, um, Candy corn. Candy corn. <laughs> I want to say acorn. Candy corn. Bottle on one. So let's weld, uh, not weld, let's group this. And we'll just add it to our, now I'm not worried about the lines because they're going to disappear once uh, I click flat. I'm going to grab this one and group. Group, group, group. I don't want to hit attach because that's going to end up, um, what you call it, changing everything to the same color. And that, I really don't want that. All right. I'm going to have that there. I'm going to have that there. I'm going to have that there. And I mean, I'm just literally making recipe cards. For whatever I want. Let's see. For this one, I think I want to use what I have up here and put it to this one. So for this one, I'm just going to group it. I'm going to make it tinier. And I'm going to do the same thing as I did before. You know what? I'm just going to stick with this one and I'm going to just change the color. And I need to really make this a little smaller. Bootylicious! Yes, ma'am, I am. And hi. <laughs> yes, I am printing. I'm doing it all start to finish. Everything I'm doing, you're going to see how you can do it yourself using your printer, your Cricut, from start to fin finish. All right. I kind of like the way it looks. Hmm. Let me make it a little, just a little bit bigger. I have to start from the top because it doesn't go the opposite direction. Let's see here. I kind of like it the way it is. I'm overthinking it. I constantly overthink you guys. I like this bottle, but I want more room to write, you know, for it. Say if I had like a cocktail party, which I normally don't because I don't drink. <laughs> but if I did, 
and I had, was having a Halloween cocktail party, uh, these would be, you know, what I would have on the sides with whatever drink it would be represented for and how they, it was made. All right, so let's get rid of all of these. I don't think I need any of these. I should bring this up a little higher. Ooh. Come on now. Grab. Higher. Higher. A little more. Now let me take care of these. I'm debating on whether or not to add this because it looks really super cool. What do you guys think, Chad? All right, Devlin, thank you for stopping on by. Hopefully I get to see you a little later. I mean, you live with me, so I probably will see you a little later. <laughs> All right, I'm going to just change this. Come on now. Come on now. And just change it a little lighter. I mean, it's a cool bottle. Look at that. It's a cool bottle. And maybe it'll help if I actually bring this to the front. Huh, interesting, interesting. I need to send it back before I can send it front. All right. Cool. I mean, it's not bad. It's not huge. It's not as big as this guy right here. All right. So let's do some fonts. And please don't dig me. I'm, I'm not a font queen. I'm not that good with Cricut fonts. I'm I'm an expert when it comes to silhouette fonts, but Cricut fonts, not so much. Halloween drinks. Mine says recipes, but uh, to be honest, I have a lot more. These are drinks, so I'm going to do drinks. Halloween drinks. I'm going to copy and paste. And what else do I have? The kitchen of so you can say it's from your kitchen kitchen of and then little parentheses what else do I have I have you can come up are you gonna come come down there we go uh, <laughs> patience patience don't don't go too fast all right, and it goes in, I kept the caps on, ingredients, perfect. All right, well, do I have anything else? Oh, name, name of uh, your, your drink. Okay, so you can put these in any order that you want. I mean, personally, you want to kind of have uh, ingredients at the bottom and then have the kitchen of and then your and the name of the recipe, but you can interchange these. You can say, you know, this is um, midnight teeny and then it's the kitchen of. And I think it looks aesthetically pleasing going from the smallest word to the longest word. All right. I'm going to grab all of these do I can I do that no it's wanting me to do it one at a time okay if you want to change the font you go over to let me do it again right here it says font style font size letter size line size and then uh, arrangement I'm only going to be working on the font area and the font that I use, I believe is called a charm, a charming font. Now let's see, which one was it? Was it this one here? Give it just a second. No, that's not it. I have several charming fonts. Mm, I think it might have been the first. Was it the first? I think so. So let's do it again. Where are you? A charming font. A charming font. There we go. 
it just takes a little bit for it to render because I have a lot of ridiculously a l amount of fonts. So I'm not going to ding, you know, Cricut for trying to upload all of them. Okay, we got our things. We got our stuff and things. All right. Now I'm going to use my lines here in order to make sure I have everything straight. Now I, c I see that this right here is a little too far apart. All right, stop it. And I'm gonna ungroup it. And I'm just gonna move over a couple, couple of the letters. That looks good. And all I'm doing is just pushing my left arrow button just to make it move over. And when I feel like it's too close to the other letters, then I just move it forward. Yeah, this is just a little too separated. I mean, is it just me or do they just look really separate? Okay, there we go. Next. Next. You just have to have a little patience with your projects. I know this seems like it's kind of a, it's like, oh, I have to move all my, my letters. Honestly, if you want to do it right the first time, take your time interesting there we go all right if you don't want these to move around oh that T that T all right if you don't want this to move around highlight everything and attach now that I've actually moved everything over kitchen looks a little a little spaced out more than I want it to all right, just a little bit. Nope, too much. Too much. Okay. Okay. Come on now. You know what I always say to my kids? If you want the job done to be right, do it right the first time. Take your time with it. I know they want to get to their games or talk to their friends or whatnot, but if you don't do the job right the first time, you're going to spend more time trying to fix it the second time around. All right. And attach. It's a labor of love. All right. Let me just go right about is it right there? Yeah, you know what? Because I have I'm following the I all the way to the O. Let me just move it down just a slight tad. Hmm. Did I move too much of it? I probably did. All right. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Sometimes you have to move back and say, okay, you're done. Now to get your lines. You cannot do a score line. It will not show up. So what you will have to do is grab yourself a box, take it off the lock, and elongate it to get you your, your thin lines. But be sure to measure because you want everything to be even. So let's put our, our um, first things first, let's bring everything to the front. I can already tell it's not. So let's go drinks, Halloween drinks, and I could already tell this is too big, so let me just make it smaller and get a little closer. There we go. And we kind of want some lines underneath it. Ah, Cricket, what are you doing? Why are you moving? <laughs> Seriously, why are you moving? All right, this is just too big, so I'm just gonna bring it in a little bit. I'm gonna duplicate it. And I'm gonna try to keep the same length. All righty. 
And since I have my bottle here, I'm going to have to work around my bottle. And that's kind of how I want it to look like it's, it's stick, it's going around everything. All right. Let's start from right there and elongate it. Now, since this is like for drinks, you, oh, I just grabbed the wrong one. Since this is for drinks, you're not going to have a lot of ingredients. Again, why can't I pick this one up? Yeah, nope. There we go. <laughs> this is like... Alrighty. Because to be honest, when you have this displayed out, uh, for the public, like if you're trying to, they're trying to figure out what's in your drink. Again, why can I, seriously, I keep picking up the wrong one. All right. Whew. All right. I can see it's not grabbing what I want. Two, three, four. Now, if I want, I want to make this to look like it's centered properly so I'm gonna go and go to my right uh no no not right mm, I meant left 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 bottom left here we go <laughs> no <laughs> grabbed it again <laughs> cricket what are you doing to me what are you doing to me cricket maybe I can just use my arrow key nope that's not what I wanted. I don't, I don't want you. I can't get rid of it. I can't get rid of it. All right. I'm just going to have to go over here because it's just causing too much. All right. That, I don't want that one. I don't want that one. There we go. This one, this one, this one, and this one. And I'm just going to move it. There we go. Not touching it anymore. You guys seen it here. <laughs> but I will do this. I'm going to grab all of these. Uh, I think I got the wrong cut lines. This, 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 and this. All right. I'm going to do this one and this one. And I'm going to group them all. That way they're not going to go anywhere. All right. And these... Are all, you see how it says cut on the end? Don't worry about it. We're going to fix it. Because it's not going to cut into it. It We're just going to print. Alright. Do I got everything? Group. Huh. Weirdness. Seems like as soon as I clicked um, the Halloween drinks, it disappeared. <sighs> This is why it's, this is what I'm telling you about, um, working with different, uh, <laughs> I'm just going to leave it like that. I'm not going to detach it. I'm going to weld it. There we go. How about this one? There we go. Oh, okay. That one's fine. And that one's fine. All right. It's not going to go anywhere. That being said. I'm going to grab, there we go, my lines and my word, I'm going to duplicate it, I'm going to move it over, I'm going to group everything so I don't, because it doesn't go anywhere, good, and I'm going to move out just a little bit. And I'm going to apply the same thing over here. You guys are super quiet today. Is it just me? I mean, yesterday you guys had me roll. Oh, I know what it is. You guys are probably worried that I'm going to cough up a lung like I did yesterday. I can assure you I have my inhaler. I'm okay. All right. I'm going to move this over. and going to get it a little close and personal. 
<laughs> Thank you, Booty Delicious. <laughs> you were there when I started coughing up a lung. <laughs> All right. I'm going to remove it off a of group because I realize that my bottle is not the same. Let's see. I'm crocheting ATM. What's an ATM? Like to get monies? ATM? But I think it's just me out of the evil crew tonight, right? You guys are an evil crew. <laughs> On group. Oh, at the moment. Oh my gosh, I'm such a dunce. That's what you guys were saying. At the moment. <sighs> See, I'm not hip to the lingo. I, I'm an old lady. I, I don't know these things. I mean, I just recently knew, know what sus meant. <laughs> <laughs> derp, derp, <laughs> derp. Yes, you would be correct. All right, I got this, this. Yeah, I got major derpiness going on. I mean, it's not bad to be derpy, but sometimes I even scratch my head. I'm like, wow, really? That is a derpy move. And you and this, this is me talking. Okay, I grabbed it. Yes. All right, I'm gonna move it right here. And right here. Okay, I'm gonna move you down just a smidge. Or move you up just a smidge. All right, I'm gonna grab you. You. Okay. I guess I'm not grabbing you. You know what? It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. I could probably spend hours trying to adjust this. There we go. We got two beautiful stuff and things. Now, if I go to make it right now, it's not going to work. It's going to put things all over the place. Look, there's one mat. There's two mats. There's all my white. Yeah, no, this is not going to work. Make sure you highlight everything and you, is it group? It's, let's see if I did this right. Nope. Oh, wait, I did. Nope, nope, no, I didn't. Is it attach? I don't want to hit attach because I'm afraid it's going to turn everything the same color. Let me just do this with the one. See? Do you see what I'm talking about? It just changed its color. No. No. I know I did this before. What did I do to make it? I did this yesterday. All right. Let me see. No, I know I did this. It's not attached. Oh, I remember what it was. Oh my gosh, I'm such a dunce. It's flatten. Because I, as I said, once I hit flatten, all my lines will disappear. You see these lines right here? It doesn't have that black line. You see how there's a difference? There's a black line here, but nothing here. It's flatten. I don't use flatten very often. That's why I have a hard time remembering. There we go. Look at that. Those are adorable. So now that I hit make it, I only have two. There's my one and there's my two. So this is what it's going to do. It's going to print it out. So I'm going to click continue. Let me hit my, my cricket. It's going to ask me to print. I, now I already have cardstock in my printer. I only need one, although you could print multiples. You could print multiples, but for me, for right now, I'm just print, printing one. Hello, printer. Yes, I know I'm low on ink. Thank you for letting me know. 
make sure your mirror your mirror is turned on i don't need to mirror because i'm not ironing on i like the fact that it gives me that little warning hey are you ironing anything make sure you mirror all right here's my first one here's my second one come here mirror can i print all right can I print now? Interesting. Interesting. I guess it wants me to do it one at a time. Hmm. Yes. I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to do it from start to finish. Interesting. Interesting. It, the print option is not coming up. There it is. Okay. Here's the second one. I'm going to print. So I guess you need to click this button up here in order for the print to show. Now, before you cut, make sure you go to the top of this. All right. Okay, I'm gonna go to my, all right. Now it is telling me I need to go perpendicular like this. So it's been printed. See, this is what it looks like. Isn't that pretty? That's gorgeous, isn't it? And you and you can make this. You can make this yourself. If you were following along, you can make this yourself. And I know that my mat isn't sticky. Where's my that I, I do that out of habit. <laughs> I do this. Ooh. Uh, no, actually what I have is called a Canon TS9120. Oh, and yes, it is a color pr printer. It is a color printer. But, you know, realistically, you don't have to have a color printer. You can do this in black and white and aesthetically it would be very pleasing. All right. I don't want it to get too close because once it actually starts to scan, I don't want it to pick up this as its border. Maybe I should change the, yeah, you know what? I'm going to change the, the direction. I really do not want it to, to pick this up as a color. All right, I'm good, I'm good. I'm gonna put this in. Okay, all good, all good and cut oh no oh no oh cancel 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 oh no somehow it got off its track it was probably me yeah it was probably me because i didn't i didn't feed it in properly that was, that's my fault let me bring this up a little further all right All right, cut. It's very important. Yeah. You can't see it? Oh, oh, there we go. It's out of view. How about now? Can you see it? You are more than welcome. So there's a little light right here and it's reading these bars as its guidelines. And what it's gonna do, it's going to cut within the lines. It's not gonna cut every single little thing that it sees. It's, it's just gonna cut like a square. Look at that. When I first tried this out, it scared me to no end. I'm like, oh, it's going to cut everything inside. Oh no, all of my hard work is going to be, you know, for nothing. All right, there we go. Moment of truth. Da -na -na -na. Oh no, I forgot that I put this on light. Oh no, I forgot the settings. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. 
All right, this is my fault. This is not the cricket's fault. It even told me. Oh, the guillotine, yes, that's what I'm going to do because I, I inadvertently put this on the wrong setting. You could use a guillotine if you wanted, but, I mean, I have a cricket. It can cut it for me. But, like a mistake like this, because I set it on the wrong setting, it didn't cut all the way through. Oh, wait. It did. It did. I'm just freaking out. Here we go. See? Look at that. Halloween drinks. Name, kitchen of, and ingredients. Now, if you had like a like a drink station and somebody's allergic to something, they can easily read the ingredients in it. Like it'll say soda, ice cream, you know, or some people do um, like pecan um, in their drinks or some other nutty. You could easily just name these off and put them right in front of the drink like that. That's, this, these are like awesome to have. All right. Number two. It's asking me to do it this way. And I know that this is not sticky, but I'm going to rub it down like it is because I'm just much of a freak like that. All right. Oh, I'm loving this. I am loving it. I'm loving the colors, like the green, the purple. It's all working. It's working for me. It's working for me. Now, I know this was a really fast stream. But this is the this is was what I wanted to show you guys. You can do so many things. You can cut these individually if you wanted to. You don't have to make it into a card. Like say if you wanted to have a sticker. Let's see now. Print. I mean cut. Say if you, you wanted these to be into sticker format. Like you wanted this as a sticker or this as a sticker. Or even just the background as a sticker and put it into a calendar or a recipe book or whatever. You could do that the same way. You just do the same thing and you click on every single one and flatten them individually. Don't put them all together because they will just read it as one. I'll even show you. I think I have sticker paper here. Let's see here. I wasn't really thinking about it, but now that I've actually said it, I kind of want to do it. <laughs> Look at that. You've seen these before from Home Depot, you know? Do-it-yourself stickers. Inkjet. Oh, do I have an inkjet? Is mine inch? Uh, no, it's not. I used to have an inkjet printer. Hold on. Hold your horses here. Photo paper. Uh, no. Uh, no. Oh, mine's an inkjet? Okay. Then I'll use this one. Alright, it's cut it. It's did its thing. Look at that. And you, look at that. You, you can just keep stacking them. And stacking them. And you can put them into your, your clear container. Like that. Obviously, mine doesn't want to stay up, right? But the moment that you start actually, like, accruing a couple more, you can just flip through them. These are really cute. I love it. You know, in this first one, I just used all the cups and, and you know, zigzags them. No bottle. This one has the actual bottle. This one, I think this one's my favorite. This one right there is my favorite. Now, no, 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 no. Let's go back. Because I'm going to show you how to make stickers of out of what you just did. So let me put that here. Put that right over there. Let's go back to the mat. All right, we're finished. Thank you. We're finished. Can we go back? All right. Now, let's unflatten everything. All right, say you just want to unflatten, ungroup. I'm, uh, it has to ungroup. All righty. 
say you you wanted something specific like a little section that you could put I don't know something Let, let's just keep this one over here this is one this is another drink let me put these all upright and make them bigger like that Uh, this is a little too big. All right. So we got that. I don't need any more of these. Let's ungroup this. Let's fl unflatten it. Ungroup it. And here we go. I want to make this into a sticker and I want to make this into a sticker. There we go. You can add these to recipe books, to scrapbooking things that you have. Like if you have like a, a hollow adult Halloween party, this would be nice. You know, let me make you a little bit bigger, just a tiny bit, you know, and I'm going to get rid of you. Let's, let's work with these. As you can see, the line are gone is because you have originally flattened your image, but it's not considered flatten anymore it's considered as an individual image as you can see right here it's clicking on every single little one in order to make this an individual sticker you highlight everything and flatten it again and you do the same thing over here flatten now it's considering this as one image it's not doing anything else all right, and let's, okay, let's go over here. See, that's what it sees as at, as one, one image. So let's go back to, I'm just gonna grab this. This doesn't even look like a sticker sheet. I could be wrong. No, it is a sticker sheet. Okay, so. This is my, my printable side. Just make sure I have to, I put this correctly into my printer. Hey, oh, ah, all right. Move this over here, just like so. All right, I'm back. Go to continue and print. I just need one. Thank you, sweetie. I just need one. Printer is low on toner. Yes, I know I'm low on toner. I need to buy some more. I love how it constantly reminds me saying, hey, you're low on toner. All right, here we go. Oh, look how shiny it is. The shine, the shine. All right. Let's line this up, rub it like my life depends on it. All right. And you can see there's a difference between the sticker paper and just normal um, white cardstock. The colors are a little more muted while on printer paper, it's very much more vibrant. Oh, I don't want and yeah, I don't want you going anywhere. Not at all. All right. Prong here, prong here, and there you go. Okay. Sorry, I am sorry about the glare. Let me see if I can cover that up just a little bit. Okay, it's going to read it. It's like, "No, nope, no. Nope. There you are. There you are." And that's going to read the lines. Back and forth with its, its tiny little light. It's gonna do it again. It's just it's just getting the the measurements on it. There we go. Now it's doing the bottom. Alright, now it's gonna cut. 
hopefully it doesn't come up. <gasps> I hope it doesn't come up. Like I said, my thing is not sticky, so there's that to look forward to. Alrighty, it's almost done. It's looking pretty good. Almost done. You're doing good. Don't come out. You're doing great. You're doing fantastic. All right, here we go. Ta da! Ta ta da! Ta ta! Look at that! You got yourself a sticker. Look at that. Now, moment of truth. I'm gonna make sure this is a sticker. So if I grab myself a recipe, say you want to write more on the back, and it looks. Uh, come on, it looks kind of plain. So let's just go over here, roll the back, roll the back, anytime now. I have nails. Contrary to people's belief, I do have nails. <laughs> Come on now. Do I have to get really close and personal? I know I'm blind. There we go. And we're just going to stick it. You know what? I have it already over on one side like that. Look at that. Isn't that cute? Oh my goodness. You can stick this anywhere. You can make them huge. You can make them big. You can make your own little drink um, notebook if you wanted to. Realistically. Okay, I already have this guy right here. I'm going to put him in the back. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. It's just trying to peel these guys up. Vamos. Come on. I think the most grueling part of this project is trying to peel this. Really? Really? You do. There we go. <laughs> All right, I'm going to put you right there. And I th let's see now, I got one here. I got one here. I'm going to put the drink. Now, it cut it separa separately, so just keep that in mind. That if you want your bubbles to be in there as well, you would have to... It's going to... Uh, yes, ma'am. You do have to have a color printer in order to c color, uh, to print with color. Now, you can do it black and white. Like I said, it, it's an aesthetic choice and it could look very classy doing it black and white. There we go. All right, little guy. Come here. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> it actually came off the sticker, which is fine. I'm okay with that. All right, I got this one. I got this one. I have one more. Oh, look at look at this. Look at this. Oh yeah, I need to pop some stuff out though. <laughs> Where's my little pokey tool? Here's my pokey tool. Now, if you guys want to know where I got my pokey tool, Harbor Freight, ninety nine cents pack of four. And they're durable. Look at this. This is a beast. It can, it can probably puncture through, through leather if I wanted to, I think. I haven't tried it yet, but there's another project I could probably look forward to. Alright, I can probably do it on the front. Like that. Or I can put it over here. I think I'm going to put it over there. I don't want to overlap these guys, although I could. I don't think I want to. Sorry, you guys can't see me try to struggle with the backing here. Anytime now. Anytime now. The struggles are real. 
The struggles are real. <laughs> you know? Oh, there we go. Just when I didn't want to give up. There we go. Look, you can see right through it. You see where right there where the little sun and moon, the, the little moon and star. You can see right through it. All right, I'm gonna put it right there. So don't feel bad if you don't have a color printer. If you have a black and white printer, like it, again, it could look really classy doing it in black and white. All right, Halloween drinks, Halloween drinks, Halloween drinks. So this is my original, nice, right? But I think my second go around looks a little bit more better. Has a nice theme going throughout it. All right, you guys, I'm done. Thank you for stopping on by. I hope this really teaches you how to use your, your Cricut how to print, how to make your own shapes, how to apply it. How do you add your own pattern? I mean, that's all I did. I just added pattern that I've already created and put it into my, into my project. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below or whisper me here on Twitch, or if you're on YouTube, comment below. I'll, I'll be able to, you know, respond rather quickly. Thank you so much for stopping on by. You guys have a great day. Bye.